Okay, next we are testing sodium chloride, NaCl. So if we look at it under the ELMO, we can see that similar to the sucrose, it is a white or clearish looking solid. So our first test is to see if it conducts on its own. So we'll take our conductivity meter and test it. Nothing with the lights on. And nothing with the lights off. Next, we will see if it dissolves in water. So here is our sodium chloride. Now we'll add some distilled water to it. And then give it a mix. And we can see that it is starting to dissolve. Now, because it dissolves in water, we're going to see if that solution, so that mix of sodium chloride and water, if it will conduct electricity. All right, so we'll do this one just with the, sorry, light off. We test the solution, and we can see that it clearly lights up the red light and it lights up the green light. So when sodium chloride is added to water, it conducts. Now we're going to test silicone dioxide, SiO2. So let's start by observing it. And we see that this looks to be a mix of a bunch of different little rocks and things like that. Now, we will test to see if it is conductive. We'll do it with the lights off only. And we can see that on its own, the silicone dioxide does not conduct. Next, we'll check to see if it dissolves in water. All right, now we will give that a mix. We'll add a little more water. And we see that the silicone dioxide does not dissolve. So if it doesn't dissolve, we're not going to test to see if that solution conducts. Now we are going to test paraffin. C2H42. In this case, we are testing red paraffin. So let's see if it conducts as a solid. Sorry, forgot to zoom in on it. Now we will see if it conducts as a solid testing it in several locations. Test this one with the lights on. 
nothing happens. Now, we will test to see if it dissolves in water. And as we add our distilled water, we can see that the paraffin starts to float. If we try and mix it, nothing happens.